Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, the Walt Disney Company, if you hadn't heard, recently purchased the rights to distribute and produce BBC's Doctor Who. Well, that has been going, interestingly, to say the least. It's definitely gone in a new direction. Russell T. Davies claims that he was instructed to bring in a younger audience, apparently. And apparently the new hot thing, according to the younger audiences, is a lot of this kind of interesting storytelling changes and retcons to some interesting characters and some major divergence from what they've always been traditionally known as. And, well, whether or not you agree with the new direction, whether or not you enjoy Disney's Doctor Who under Russell T. Davies now and all of the kind of stuff that they've interjected into it, at the end of the day, there's one thing you cannot deny. That is numbers. No matter how much they try to argue about 2 plus 2 equaling 5, at the end of the day, 2 plus 2 does still equal 4. And numbers, especially when it comes to money and ratings, actually matter. And needless to say, ladies and gentlemen, Disney's Doctor Who, no matter how much they try to spin it in the access media, no matter how much the legacy media tries to continue to shill for it, is simply not working out for yourself in any way, shape, or form. And it turns out... No matter how much the Walt Disney Company seems to be completely and totally down for the spirit of the age and injecting the agenda into absolutely every IP they can get a hold of, it looks like things might be so bad over there at Disney Doctor Who that according to the very showrunner himself, the one that was brought back in, the one that gave some of us hope that we actually might get good Doctor Who again, is saying that there might not even be a second season. And ladies and gentlemen, tell me that's not absolutely hilarious. And since we're all about making shame great again around here, boys and girls, that's exactly what we're going to do today because we are going to shame them with their very own numbers and once again reinforce while Russell T. Davies is saying that a second season may not happen, the whole show might be scrapped and that'll be nothing more than an absolute abomination because of failures in the ratings and failures with the Neo Doctor Who new Disney direction they wanted to go. And Russell T. Davies even admits that the ratings are not exactly what they'd like to see. Well, boys and girls, we're going to get into all that wonderful information and tell you exactly what is going on and exactly what Russell T. Davies has said about the future of Disney Neo. Doctor Who, but before we do, I want to remind any of you out there who are actual Doctor Who who fans, who are traditional Whovians. If you would like to join us every Sunday night at 7 p.m., Mr. Grant Gregory and our dear sweet Sunker Maiden join us to discuss when who was good where we review full episodes starting off with the Christopher Eccleston era and going all the way through Capaldi we're currently on the fourth season of David with David Tennant right now it's a really good time right it's a really good time we have a lot of fun Mr. Grant Gregory is full of a lot of great background information that just I had no idea about stuff he's been a who fan since he literally came out of the womb and it's a really good time and it absolutely does give you a very nice palate cleanser For all of us Who fans out there who are disappointed and disastrously dumpster fired about everything that is currently going on. So go ahead and make sure you come and check us out on Sunday nights for that wonderful time. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe or follow if you have not already. And leave us a comment down below and let us know if you'll be joining us on Sunday nights to review when Who was good. So Doctor Who showrunner Russell T. Davies admitted that the ratings for the latest Doctor Who season are not good. Well, that's probably the understatement from Millennium concerning the fact that they broke the record for the worst it reversed reviews the absolute worst viewership of all time for Doctor Who. It's bad. And even hinted that the entire show might be scrapped following the already greenlit second season. Oh, dun dun dun. No third season for Doctor Who. As reported by Doctor Who TV, Davies spoke with Radio Times about the show's disastrous ratings. The first episode, Church on Ruby Road, which debuted on Christmas, had overnight viewership of 4.73 million and garnered 7.4 million after a week. The episode had the second worst debut for any doctor and the were the worst of any Christmas special. Numbers don't lie, boys and girls. Legacy access shill media do. 
it did not get any better from there. Space Babies, which aired in the middle of May, only had an overnight viewership of 2.6 million viewers in the UK. After a week, it had only reached 4.01 million viewers. The worst performing episode in overnight viewership so far was the third episode, Boom, which had the overnight viewership of 2.04 million and only hit 3.58 million after a week. However, the worst performing episode after a week is Dot and Bubble. The episode had an overnight viewership of 2.1 million, but after a week only hit 3.3 million. These ratings are the worst Doctor Who has ever seen in the history of this show being broadcast. How's that new Disney Doctor Who direction working out for ya? On top of the show doing abysmally in the United Kingdom, it has not even charted on the Nielsen charts a single week in the United States, and the show airs on Disney Plus in North America. Davies reacted to the terrible viewership, telling Radio Times, I'm very proud of it. You know, they might not be the ratings we'd love. We always want higher, but they're building over the 28 period. Episode 1, Space Babies, is already up to 5.6 million and counting, so it's getting there. Yeah, it ain't going anywhere. He then touted how the show was allegedly reaching younger audiences with its blatantly woke propaganda. I was brought back in to bring in a youthful audience. That's been massively successful. The audience no one ever gets are the under 30s. They just don't watch television anymore. But those figures are astronomic for Doctor Who. It's their top program in that bracket. Yeah, but when even then only 10% of them are watching, just because you now have 15% watching instead of 10% watching, or now you have 25% watching instead of instead of 10% watching, that's still not good. Because guess what? The overall representation, there's a reason why everybody goes for the 18 to 35 demographic, right? Because they're generally a lot of the ones that are driving the culture forward, but at the end of the day, they're not the ones spending the money. And clearly this isn't working out. So it doesn't matter. You can get this little niche audience. And you know what? If that's what you're going for, Russell T. Davies, enjoy your niche audience audience because guess what it's not going to pay the bills for a show that the Walt Disney Company is spending hundreds of millions of dollars on those that math don't work out and that dog will not hunt Ha! Davies explained the audience now yeah, the top programmers are in that bracket. Novelist and YouTuber John De La Rosa explains how this is a cope and is a lie. Now notice how he doesn't give figures for this because he's lying. People are not watching this. It does not matter what age demographic you are. Again, Astronomic doesn't even mention doesn't he doesn't ever mention it. But if you only have 5.6 million viewers over a month and you're getting your lowest ratings ever, maybe your percentage of the lowest ratings are astronomic, but you're getting a higher percentage than normal. But the actual numbers are very very low. Not many people are watching. Period. So this is complete cope. Final Davies revealed that the show might not move forward after its second season, saying that the future of the show is still up in the air. And why? When the Walt Disney Company is canceling failing show after failing show, Bob Iger has already said they're going to drastically pull back on the amount of Star Wars content they produce and the amount of Marvel content they produce. Why would they continue to support something and pay for something that cost them hundreds of millions of dollars that literally is not even charting on the Nielsen Top 10 in the Americas. It's literally produced by the United States. It's produced by the Walt Disney Company now. Yeah, it's a failure. It's an abomination. And maybe you're part of the demographic that enjoys this neo-Disney Doctor Who new direction that they're going in. I hope you do enjoy it. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. If you don't appeal to a broader audience, if you don't appeal to the entire or at least the majority of the fan base of a built-in IP... You are going to lose. You are going to fail. You are trying to chase an audience that does not exist in any kind of significant amount to pay your bills or keep your lights on. This is an absolute abomination, a disrespect to all of the great Whovian fans that are out there and all of the great Who stories that came before. This is something that you are burning down to the ground and you absolutely deserve to get it. Got what told Rolling Stone in UK in July 23. He would be returning to the stage after Dr. Thu. Theaters keep me warm and it held me all night, even if I was broke. But I'm planning on getting back to it next year after I finish season two of Dr. Who. He doesn't even know if he's coming back. We know that Ruby Rose is leaving. We know that so many people are not going to be involved with this whatsoever. So it sounds like this is just going to end up being a hundreds of millions of dollars vanity project for the Walt Disney Company wanting to push an agenda into what they thought was a chill children's television show and at the end of the day all this did was end up costing them a bunch of money and pissing off a bunch of fans because at the end of the day if you make the fans happy we will make you rich if you piss us off and you make us angry and you devastate and destroy all of our beloved ips 
we will watch you go bankrupt and have not shed a single tear about it. The old adage, go woke, go broke, exists for a reason. And the Walt Disney Company has done that in spades, and now they have devastated and destroyed what little hope anyone had for Russell T. Davies returning Doctor Who to any kind of semblance of the greatness it once had. So remember, boys and girls, join me every Sunday night at 7 p.m. with Mr. Grant Gregory and our dear sweet Sunker Maiden to review when Who was good and wash the disgusting, nasty taste of Disney Doctor Who out of your mouth with some good old when Who was good. I'll see you Sunday, boys and girls.